Welcome guys, I'm Coach Bruno. Today I will show you how to read the setter. Imagine if you have the ability to know where the opponent setter will set the ball before he touches the ball. She will play with the outside. Or she will play with the right side. No, 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 no. This action, she will run slide. To be able to know where the opponent setter will play the ball can be a huge advantage for your team to well organize your block system defense. As well, it can be a huge advantage for helping your middle blocker to take the right decision. I will show you what I did and what I used for predict one of the best setter of the world. She play in the Women USA team. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you Jordan Poulter. Jordan Poulter has been a world traveler since leading Illinois Volleyball to the Final Four. She's been around the globe and back, playing professionally in Italy, Bulgaria, China, and then coming back to California. Like I said, I will predict 60% of time what Jordan Poulter will play before she touched the ball. Mm, you probably think, what? Just 60%? It's nothing. Let me tell you, she has huge capacity, huge competencies to set the ball almost everywhere in every situation. So 60% for this caliber of player, I not think is not too bad. And of course, if you use the same process for a lower level, like college level, high school level or clubs level, you will increase the percentage prediction up to 70% of case. First things we need to know before start this experimentation is every single setter in the world have preferences, tendencies, habit, a different playing intention when they will play against different team. The whole point for predict the setter is trying to work on all these different aspects by combine and classify the same action repeated. First thing I did, it's create categories. When Jordan will set the ball after moving to the front, or moving back, or be off of the net. And of course, when she is in system situation, What is her body form when she set the ball back? When she set a front set? When she run a slide? Or when she play with the middle. I also create a subcategories concerns the influence set depending on the passing zone. When the ball from zone five or six. or zone 1. I scout 7 games, over 500 sets from her, by choosing most likely the same lineup around Jordan, for trying to recreate the same environment. Basically we will try to be in her Jordan Poulder brain. I compile all my data on the simple Excel sheet. All set rotation per rotation. This is the number of each players, outside header, middle blocker, and right side header. How many balls they get, 
and how many balls they get expressed by percentage. The blue frame represents the zone where Jordan set the ball. In system situation, out system, when she moves to the front or when she moves to the back. The blue, green and red color line represents the traffic set. More you have line and more she set the ball. Right there is the total of set depending on the passing zone. For example, in system scenario, rotation 2, ball from passing zone 5, we have 7 ball setting to the outside header, 5 ball for the middle blocker, and 1 ball for the right side. So now guys, it's time to make the real test, and let's see if my prediction is correct. So just for you know guys, we start the second set in rotation 3. I move away the two first rotation because it's absolutely happened nothing. So let's see how work my analysis process. First thing, I look the rotation after the passing zone and uh, the passing quality. If she's in system, out system, off of the net, or she ruined on the front, or if she moved back. And I check my Excel uh, data to see what is the higher percentage setting option for Jordan. So right now, out system situation, 42% chance she sets the outside header. And nope, I'm wrong. Still uh, rotation free, passing from zone 5, perfect pass, in system situation, 50% chance she sets the outside header. Rotation 3, Perfect pass from zone 6, 46% for the right side. Rotation 4, passing from 6, in system situation, as you can see, she plays slide every time in each passing zone situation. Rotation 5, passing from 6, so on this situation we have a problem because we have 50% twice for the right side and the outside. For take a decision, because I have to, I look the higher percentage on the very top, 40.7 versus 37%, so ball for the 22, slide again. And bingo! Rotation 6, passing from 1, in system, ball for the outside header. Back to the rotation 1, with passing from 5, out system situation, 100% for the right side. Rotation 2, passing from 1, bad pass, Jordan move back, so no surprise as you can see, all my statistics predict the set for the outside. And surprise, I'm wrong. But the funny fact, if you watch the middle, I'm not the only one to be surprised. The middle hitter don't believe as well that the ball is for her. Okay, fair enough, I'm wrong. In rotation 2. Pass him from 6, in system situation, 38% twice, so let's take a look, the higher top percentage, we have 44.4 versus 40.7, so ball for the middle header. That's the correct answer. Rotation 3. Passing from 6, move to the front. To be honest, is the really classic scenario happen all the time, ball for the outside. Rotation 4, passing from 1, in system situation. No surprise, we know she will set the slide, for sure. 
and uh, I'm not the only one to know it. As you can see, the opponent's middle blocker know it too. She clearly anticipated the move before Jordan set the ball. Rotation 4, passing from 6, out system scenario, ball to the right side. Rotation 6, passing from 6, in system situation, so we have 33% uh, twice, again, so 29.6 versus 48.1, ball for the outside header, and nope, and last rotation, passing from one in system situation so we have 38% for the outside and the same for the right side what the top percentage tell us 30.6 versus 38.9 okay the ball go for the right side header Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it can inspire you or can give you some idea to improve your team. And of course you can watch also if the cedar lack damp. And uh, when she do it and uh, where she, she damp the ball. You can watch if the setter redo the set to the same player during the rally point. And also how the setter play after 20, like in the money time, when, uh, when the point is really, really important. And uh, last thing, you can, you can watch if the setter like replay with the player who just make a mistake or just get blocked. Guys, bye. See you in the next video.